Hey guys, uh, we're back at Tal Behind the Scenes. I'm Mike Snedeker here with Real Housewives of New York star Kelly Ben Simone. Hi Kelly. Hi Mike, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Can we just talk about this background here? Yeah, how it's cool really, is this? it's nice, right? Okay, where do these little people come from? I love them. I want them. <laughs> <laughs> I want these, I want these like worshipping people in my house. Yeah, we're actually, um, we're actually inside of Tal right now. And uh, basically, you know, we just did your birthday party last night. So yes. how do you feel about that? It was a good time. First of all, we had dinner at Tao and the food yeah. is off the food chart. So it was <laughs> unbelievable. I was eating and eating and eating. And then- You've been here a couple of times. What's your favorite thing? Um, well, last night I said something different. I had actually, um, it was tuna, but it was wrapped in something that was like crunchy. Uh -huh. yeah, and then yeah. I have to be honest, the giant fortune cookie really like stole my heart with the provocative um, fortunes. I was like, hey, yeah. this is Vegas. Um, but I mean, it was obviously, the food is amazing and the place is so jam packed. And then we- The club went, was insane last night. The club was, in cra was crazy. Yeah. Thursday night, Tao was off the charts. And yeah. then the restaurant was really, really busy. The club was really busy. I had a couple mojitos. <laughs> I had this beautiful birthday cake. It was the most gorgeous pink birthday cake that I've ever yeah, had. The cake stole the show. The cake was beyond. It was beyond. I've never had a cake like that. I felt right. very spoiled. Right. I know obviously people know you from the Real Housewives of New York, but you know a lot of people don't know that you actually uh, started out as a model. Right. I started as a model at 15. Wow. And I first went to New York when I was 16 by myself for a week, oh, wow. which was very entertaining. Yeah. Um, and I went to college, I went to Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, and then I transferred to Columbia, and that's where I finished, at Columbia University. And when I was at Columbia, my, one of my professors, who's actually my mentor, told me, he's like, you're modeling and you're traveling all over the place, so why don't you ask these editors if you can write for them and just do it for free? So I did. Wow. And I started writing for all these different magazines. I did beauty articles. I did one where I was wearing this like really horrible green mask, facial mask, and I wrote all about like different masks. And then um, I met the um, owner of Hamptons Magazine, and he said, "I'll give you a job." He's like, "For a hundred dollars a week, you can do whatever you want." So I wrote four articles for him, and then I was in charge of all of his fashion. It was a big thing. I was, I was super young, and I'm like, "Well, I could put those shoes on with that dress. Why not? It looks hot." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was really kind of my whole mindset of like, what looks hot, whether it's, um, you know, like last night I was wearing this Alice and Olivia yeah. dress. Everyone's asking me, thinking it's Gucci. I'm like, no, 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 it's Alice and Olivia. I like, it's affordable. Um, on the show, sometimes I wore H&M. I wore a dress that was $9 on the show. <laughs> I just like to wear clothes that, you know, make you women look and feel like beautiful women. Because women. obviously they see it and they want to wear that dress. And so, I want them yeah. to wear that dress. Yeah. Because if I'm wearing it and I feel good in it, then I want you to wear it and I want you to feel good in it. How did the show come into your life? I was the editor of Elle Accessories and I was working on my second issue and I just finished writing the bikini book and one of the um, producers at Bravo wanted me to be on a fashion show with Tim Gunn and then they chose Veronica Webb instead because she's a supermodel. So I was like, okay, fine, take her, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> and then they wanted to keep me in the Bravo family so they asked me to come on this new show that had only had one season called Housewives. And so um, I went on the first episode, and I, this is the first time, I mean, I'm the research queen. I know yeah. everything about everybody. And this is the first time I was like, you know what, I'm just not gonna research anything. I'm just gonna go in there and have be real. Like, cause right. I'm, I'm on reality, so I'm gonna be right. real. And the first scene, I um, rode my horse and I met Luann. Yeah. And they were like, um, your hair, what's wrong with your hair? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean, what's wrong with my hair? This is my hair, they're like, it needs to be blown out. I was like, uh-huh. I was like, okay, I get the reality now. And so I just had fun with these women, kind of, I was trying to help them open up and be more organic, right. but they didn't want that. They wanted to be dramatic and yeah, they wanted yeah, to have yeah. their moment. And, and the fighting. And, and all the fighting, stuff. and which was actually fun for me too, because it's so out of my comfort zone. I'm not really used to like fighting with women. Now, as far as this season, I saw last night's episode, and there seems to be some <laughs> tension going on between you and Ramona. Yeah. Is that something that's going to be continuing throughout the season? Can you give us any hints? Um, it is something that continues throughout the season. It's funny because there's a shift in our relationship. Yeah. Where beforehand she was trying to like tell me that she's the star of the show, and that she's going to tell me who I am and what I am, and she, you know, her, what her line is something like, you know, I tell the truth, and if you don't like it, that's your problem. Well, her her truth it's, it's the truth and more it's the truth according to Ramona, yeah. which is, means the false truth. 
And so I won't put up with it, and I don't want to. I don't want to be around it. So if you're going to be honest with me, you can hang out with me. And if you're not going to be honest, then you can't. So I'll just do sand angels. Or I'll do whatever I can to get away from you. <laughs> right. Because I can't run away from you. Yeah. But I will do whatever I can. You know, Chief and I, my dog Chief, will just you know we'll walk circles around you and tell you to leave us alone. I want to talk about your jewelry first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you? What is it like these pieces? Well, first I want to say that you know the show has been an unbelievable opportunity for yeah. me. I mean, I'm, you know, I was behind the scenes for so many years. I mean, even as a model, people would look at me and say, I reminded them of their cousin, and I was like, okay, whatever, that's cool, that's sweet. And now people are recognizing me. You know, they're noted, they know my name, they know a lot about my life, they ask me about my kids, my dogs, and so it's been a great opportunity for me to show and convey the things that I love. And you know, one thing that I learned from working in the fashion industry was that, you know, yes, there's beautiful things, but why can't everyone have it? And where can so people get it? They can get it at Dash, at Wink, and W Hotels. Thank you, well, thank you so much for stopping by. I know we gotta, we're actually gonna leave. We gotta go, we're gonna continue the birthday celebration right now, we're gonna head up to Tal Beach. So thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.